Hi everybody, Kay here from Leeds Bird Rants. Welcome to today's Leeds News Roundup, a compilation of all the latest Leeds United news doing the rounds today up to around about 5pm this afternoon, a little bit of a late one today. So starting today with the news that Max Wober is expected to be announced as a Borussia Mönchengladbach player on Monday. That's according to sports journalist Florian Plettenberg. Leeds will apparently receive a fee of £430,000 for the centre-back, but the loan is unlikely to include an option to buy. The Austrian defender leaves the club after playing just 19 times for Leeds last season after joining in January from RB Leipzig. Newcastle United goalkeeper Carl Darlow is due to travel to Leeds United today for a medical ahead of a permanent deal for a reported fee of just £400,000. News that the 32-year-old would leave the Magpies pre-season tour of the US in order to complete his news was confirmed by Eddie Howe yesterday after Newcastle's game against Chelsea in Atlanta. Now, Leeds' squad depth was dealt a boost yesterday with news that Pascal Stroik plans to stay at Leeds. Speaking to BBC Radio Leeds, he said that although Daniel Farker had been direct with the players, he appreciated the honesty and was passionate about the club returning to the Premier League the season after next. Stroik signed his most recent contract last year, which keeps him at the club until 2027. And although poor last season, uh, he spent a significant amount of time playing out of position due to injuries and poor recruitment so that effectively meant there was no backup options in that position so let's see how he does under Daniel Farker. Now, Coventry Live reporting today that Leeds United transfer target right back Milan Van Leeuwijk is apparently set to join the Sky Blues. The wing back was officially the fastest player in the Eredivisie last season. He's joining for a fee of around £3.4 million with add-ons and a sell-on clause. Now, Mark Rocker is said to be so delighted with his move to Real Betis that he's pushing to make it permanent. He told Spanish newspaper Marca earlier this week that he was extremely happy where he was, stating, I am where I want to be. I promise work, commitment and effort to the maximum. I hope we meet the objectives because Betis is a great team and we are very hungry for victories. Right now, the club is talking with my agents to see how we can agree the details with Leeds. This year, I'm going to give my best and I feel prepared and with a lot of commitment. The 26-year-old made 32 Premier League appearances during his 12-month stay at Elland Road, but returns to, to Spain's top flight for the first time since 2020. Now, according to Graham Smith of the Yorkshire Evening Post, Daniel Farker is an admirer of Patrick Bamford and the 29-year-old could very well play a key role next season. Speaking on the Inside Ellen Road podcast, Smith said that Bamford is a player that Farker rates very highly and he expects him to get plenty of minutes this season. He said, from everything I've heard, Farker likes him, he rates him and he'll certainly get game time this season. Smith added that whether or not Bamford stays Leeds should be seeking a new number nine as soon as possible. And finally, Sam Allardyce has told the William Hill podcast that he asked for the Leeds job 12 games before it was offered to him. Leeds' relegation battle, of course, went down to the last day when a 4-1 defeat to Spurs saw them relegated. Allardyce revealed that he called Leeds CEO Angus Kinnear saying, take me, I'll save you. Um, he made this call 12 games before his appointment, but Leeds only returned the call after sacking Javi Gracia with four games to go, implying it was his decision whether or not to stay on as Leeds head coach. He said his reasons were leaving with a lack of potential goals in the squad and the lack of potential defenders given the state the club was in regarding FFP. I'm not so sure. That's your Leeds News Roundup on Thursday, July the 27th, 2023. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the game tonight. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.